Strawberry Reservoir. We're in a little place called the Meadows right now, which is by Renegade uh, Boat Ramp, which is right over there. And this is a uh, this. The water here is anywhere from 35 to 25 feet. And I've been fishing up here a long time, and I was taught a way to fish these these uh, cutthroats. And once in a while, you'll catch a, a rainbow. Generally, you're going to catch cutthroats here, and you throw them all back, which is even funner. If you can catch them another time. What we use here is a tube jig. And uh, we tip the the uh, the hook with a night crawler, just a small little piece of night crawler. But I I have found that day in and day out, if you use a white kind of a shiny jig, and I use about a three quarter ounce uh, jig head in there, because I like to be able to cast a long ways, and you can feel the jig a little better because of the weight on it. And then uh, what you do is you just uh, and depending on the time of day. What I found usually in the morning is you'll come and the fish will be uh, between five and 10 feet deep. And so you wanna keep your jig fairly high in the water. So you throw it out and you reel and jig fairly quickly as you bring it in. That keeps the uh, jig high. And what I found is the fish like to come up from underneath and get it. And, um, and as it gets a little later today, we're probably about 9.30, 10 o'clock right now. And um, what I found there is they go a little deeper. And so what I do when they're a little deeper is I'll just throw it out, throw it out there 30, 40 feet, and, and I'll just let it sink a little bit. And sometimes you can jig it a little kind of harder, but this time of day when it go, goes, when you want to go a little deeper, I just kind of reel a little bit and then I just kind of pull a little bit. And um, that lets the jig sink down in. And what's funny about these fish is a lot of, sometimes you'll get a really hard hit but most of the time they'll just come up and they'll kind of tick it or will the, will, you'll get what I call it kind of a heavy or a syrupy line bite and you'll pull on your, your, your pole and you'll feel it's just kind of heavier than what normal is and you just set the hook and when in doubt set, set the hook. Another thing you can do is you'll, you'll pull your line out and you'll let it back down and it'll just sit on the water. It won't, it won't sink. We call that a slack line bite. So they've got the jig in their mouth and so your line's not sinking anymore. And so you, as soon as you see that, you set the hook as well. Right now, this is, uh, we're right at the end of June, first part of July. The fishing's crazy good. And what you'll find is these things, if you, you'll get them and you'll, you think you hook them, they'll drop off. You just let the jig right back down and they will come at it again and again and again. And you'll get to the point where you'll see them right off the boat and they'll take your jig and you can just nail them again. Missed him. There we go. Got him. Ooh, oh, again. see if he comes back again. I need to. Is he still hitting it? Yep. Oh, he's still there. Fish. Oh, <laughs> see if he's learned his lesson yet. He's on. He's on. See that slack line? There. There. Nice. They see how that line was just slack on the water? So anyway, that's what we do. Uh, we'll catch anywhere from, you know, if you have four people on here that are pretty good fishermen, you'll catch 60, 70 fish in a, from seven in the morning till about two in the afternoon. A lot of fun. Um, they're usually all in the slot, so you, you can't keep them, but it's just a lot of fun to fish for these, these, uh, these cutthroats.